Two more breaths. Pressing a little more into this left arm. Inhale, slowly come up. And then exhale. So we're in our table. We have our hips stacked over our knees. And we're going to move into puppy pose, but we're going to move into an active and passive puppy pose. Um, my friends who take the drills class with me, you're probably familiar with this. 
So puppy pose, walk the hands out in front of you, and then maybe it's your forehead that melts to the mat, or if you have the flexibility, you can have chest and chin. Inhale here, exhale through an open mouth, arrive in the pose, and then we press down through the hands, through the palms, just to lift it around through the shoulders, and then we like lift our forehead, lift chest and chin off the mat. Exhale, we melt. Inhale, push it around. So this is our active puppy pose, and then passive puppy pose. Inhale for active. Exhale for passive. Inhale. Exhale. Take an inhale here. 
Exhale, lift everything up. Feet, keep them nice and together. Point through the toes. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And make sure your hands are off your person. Yes, beautiful. Here for three. For two, maybe you come into fullest expression. And one, Woo. exhale, release it down. Bend the knees, windshield wipe the legs, a little side to side. Beautiful. Hands come under shoulders. Let the feet come down to the mat, curl toes under. Inhale through nose. Exhale, press up in one. High plank. Yes, keeping everything nice and tight. And if you have to, you can walk the feet in a touch just to adjust the pose. Gaze just at the top of the mat. Belly button hugs in. And we have a micro bend in the elbows. Inhale here. Exhale, lift hips back and up. Downward facing dog. First one of the practice, so let's pedal out the feet. Bending generously into one knee and then the other. Maybe you hear some cracks and creaks. I know I do. And I encourage you to keep the eyes closed. When we keep the eyes closed, it helps us open up more of our senses just to become more aware. And it helps us gain more body intelligence, that mind-body connection. By figuring out where we are in space, which is helpful when we're moving into more advanced poses. So just tapping in, connecting to the physical body, noticing where's any stiffness and store soreness, anywhere that might need a little extra love and attention. Inhale, right leg sweeps back and up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, breathe into the hip. Take that right leg, sweep it back behind you, coming back to your three-legged dog. Rise to the left hip toes, right foot steps in between the hands, and our left knee is going to come down. So we're in our knee down lunge. And then we're going to take our hands, you can crisscross them, and then just taking them over this right knee. So we're going to move um, here. For the first part, I want you to curl your tailbone under and tuck the chin. And you should feel a nice deep stretch in your left psoas up into that hip flexor. So inhaling here, and then exhale, melt into that lunge. So you can kind of be, as again, it's like moving through active and passive. So active, inhale, Round, curl that pelvis down, tuck the chin as much as you can to the chest. This will really deepen that stretch. And then exhale, melt. Inhale, round. And you can push the hands here, firmly like into the thigh when you're rounding. Exhale, melt. Inhale, round. Exhale, melt. Inhale, round. Exhale, melt. Two more times. Inhale, round. Exhale, melt. Last one. Inhale, round. Exhale, melt. Inhale, release hands. They sweep up overhead. Knee down, lunge. And then on an exhale, if you can, lifting your left knee off the mat into arrow lunge. Here for three. Hugging belly button and squeezing inner thighs for two. And one, ever so slowly, the knee comes back down to the mat. Plant the hands, curl toes under, step it back, high plank. Beautiful, drop knees. Modify chaturanga, shift forward. Lower down, hold it here, three, two, one. Exhale all the way down. Low cobra, inhale, come up. In this low cobra, can you lift the hands and stay as high without them on the mat? Whew. Working our back muscles today. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Curl toes 
under. Press back to the knees, and then the knees lift off the mat, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Checking into the pose, seeing how it feels, keeping the shoulders nice and wrapped. And for the first downward dog, so, so maybe you keep a little generous bend in the knees until you begin to open up more and more. Inhale, left leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, breathe into it. Couple breaths here. Return to your original three-legged dog. So just straighten that left leg, hips square again. And then rise to the right tiptoes, left foot steps in between the hands, right knee comes down for knee down lunge, and we repeat this on the left side now. So the hands again crossing just above that left knee, right on the thigh. And then inhale, curl the tailbone, tuck chin, ground. Whew, for me, it's a deep stretch, so hopefully you feel it too, a really deep sensation. And then exhale, sink into the pose. Inhale, push it around. Exhale, release. Inhale, push it around. Exhale, release. Inhale, push it around. Exhale, release. Inhale, push it around. And again, really focusing on tucking the chin. Exhale, release. Three more times. Inhale, push it around. Exhale, release. Inhale, push and round. Exhale, release. Inhale, push and round. Really, again, pushing the hands here as well. The more active you are, the deeper that stretch will be. And then exhale, release. Release the hands. Inhale, they sweep up overhead. Look up, reach up. Exhale, baby, that right knee lifts from the mat. Arrow lunge, hold it here for three. For two. And one, slowly lower the knee back to the mat. Hands plant, back toes curl under. Step it back, high plank. Drop the knees, shift forward, modify chaturanga, hold it here and chaturanga three. Two, one. Exhale all the way down onto our bodies. Low cobra, and knock them up. Exhale, release or lift hands from the mat. Hold it here. Three. Active legs. Two. Nice work, everyone. One. Exhale, release it down. Curl toes under. Press back to the knees. Lift the knees, lift hips downward, facing dog. Two breaths here. Pressing sits bones back and up nice and high. Inhale, look in between hands. Rise to tiptoes, bend the knees, step, hop or walk, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Find that flat back, shift weight into the toes. Imagine you're tilting that pelvis up. That really opens up these hamstrings. And then exhale, forward fold. Just like we did in that knee down lunge, really focus on tucking chin to chest. And then maybe use the hands to pull you down even more. The more tuck you have with the chin to the chest, you should feel your superficial back line opening up and maybe you feel a stretch in the low back and up into the glutes. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at the hips, rise up, mountain pose, look up, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. They drop by the side. Inhale, hands sweep up, overhead, look up, reach up. We're gonna steeple the hands, so point your fingers are together. And then exhale, Standing half moon, we're going to bend to the right. So reach, reach, reach. Three, two, one. Inhale, pulls us up. Exhale to the left for three. Reach with the hands. Two, 
One inhale pulls us up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Look back, little back bend. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge up, hips forward, fold. Release all of that air. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot steps back, left foot steps back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, look in between the hands. Rise to tiptoes. Bend the knees, hop up, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at hips, rise up, mountain pose, look up, reach up. Exhale, hips to heart center. They sweep by the mat, with the toss in the chair pose. Active toes, the lifting of off the mat. Exhale, sit it a little lower. Beautiful. Hands to heart center. We're going to shift right into Bakasana, our crow pose. So if you're practicing a long time and you've got your crow pose, see if you can just place the hands down and shift right into it without moving around the feet. If you're working on your crow still, maybe you work on lifting one foot and then the other. If you're up, hold it here, three. Push the mat away for two. And one, option to shoot back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg sweeps back and up. Three legged dog. Rise to the left hip toes. Right knee comes into the chest. We pivot on the back foot, fall in triangle. So that right foot opens out in front. Lift the hips. Take this right, sorry, this left hand behind the head. Press firmly into the right hand, which is on the mat, to open up in the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale. We're going to lower our bum to the mat. This left hand sweeps around. Plant it and then lift the hips. So you're almost like an eighth wild thing variation. And then the right hand, again, take it behind the head to really open up in that thoracic spine. Inhale here. Exhale, lower bum back to the mat. Right hand sweeps back to the top of the mat. And then we're going to take our right leg, our right knee down into the center of the mat for gate pose. Yes, so I'm going to spin to face you. So in this gate pose, the right foot is behind us. Sweep the hand overhead, side by stretch. Inhale here. Exhale, take the hand down to the thighs, kick it a stretch to the other side. Beautiful. One more time, take it down. Finding a little flow here. So reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, left hand to left thigh, right hand sweeps overhead. Inhale, right hand plants down. You're going to take the left foot, step it to the top of the mat, and we pivot into Skandasana. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Now, even if you have that flexibility, you know I always say this, find that lift. Inhale here. Exhale. We're going to the back of the mat. So bend into that right knee. Left hand plants. Right hand opens up. Simple twist. Roll to the outside edges of both of the feet. Lower the hips down. Hip stretch. Inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale, we shift into Skandasana on this back right leg. Beautiful, I know. It's a little tricky this morning, changing it up on you. When we move like around the mat, it's kind of fun because you have to like think about things just a little bit more. So we're going to come back to the top of the mat, bend into the left knee, right hand plants, left opens up, and again dropping the hips down, rolling to the outside edges of the feet to open up. Inhale, left hand sweeps up. Exhale, plant it down. Step it back, high plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up one. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll do that again on the left side. So inhale, left leg sweeps back and up. Rise to the right toes. Left knee hugs into the chest, fall in triangle. So opening up, right hand comes behind the head to breathe into that thoracic spine to open it here even more. Press firmly into the left hand. Exhale, hips drop down. Right hand sweeps around. And again, press in, lift the hips. Wild thing variation, left hand behind the head, inhale here. Exhale, lower the bum back to the mat. Left hand sweeps around, top of the mat. And then we take this left knee, and you just take it to the center of the mat with the left foot behind it. Beautiful, right hand sweeps overhead. Deep stretch here. Inhale, right hand to right thigh. Exhale, left hand, right hand sweeps over. Inhale, right hand down to that thigh or down to the calf. Deep side body stretch. Exhale, left hand plants. This is where we pluck up the right foot, bend the knee, step it to the top of the mat, Svandasana. Nice work, y'all. Finding that lift here. Exhale, back of the mat, so bend into that left knee. Right hand plants, left opens up, simple twist. Outside ends of both feet, let the hips lower to the mat. Inhale, come up. Skandasana on the left leg at the back of the mat. Finding the lift. And we come back to the top of the mat, left hand plants, right open, simple twist. Again, opening up in the hips, so outside edges of the feet, let them lower to the mat. Beautiful. Inhale, come up. Exhale, plant the right hand. Right foot steps back and we move through our vinyasa. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Sits bones up nice and high. Shoulders are wrapped. Inhale, look in between the hands. Rise to tiptoes, bend the knees, step walk and hop up, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, find that flat back. Shift weight into the toes. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge up, hips rise up, out and pose, lift up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. They sweep by the mat, we can toss in the chair and pose. Inhale here. Exhale, hands pass through heart center, moving right into the crow pose. Clamp the hands, maybe you shift right into it. Press, 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 lift, lift, lift. Nice, Wesley, hold it up for three. For two. Oh, nice quad, hug those heels to your bum. One, maybe you shoot it back. <laughs> Come into your chaturanga, move through your vinyasa. Beautiful, inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, flip it over, wild thing. So drop the hips and then press and lift, open them up. And again, maybe you take the right hand behind the head to open up in that thoracic spine. Press firmly through this left hand on the mat. Then we're going to flip it over, but we're going to hug right knee to the chest to step the right foot up to the top of the mat to press and lunge. Inhale, hands sweep up. Look up, reach up. Core hugs in. Exhale, hands to heart center, warrior three. So bend into that right knee. Maybe the left toes drag back and up. Hands can stay up to our center. Or maybe they sweep overhead to create more heat here for three. Breathing deeply for two. And one, exhale, right hand comes down, balancing half moon. Open up. Lift that left leg a little bit higher. Nice, can you lift it a little higher? Woo, yes. Inhale here. 
Exhale, left hand comes down. Square the hips. And then we peel open the right hand for a vault half moon. Notice if this left leg starts to drop down. Pull it up, keep it up nice and high. Send the breath, you should feel that nice juicy stretch in the IT band. Here for three, for two, and one. Exhale, both hands to the mat, standing slip. Folding over this right leg. Maybe right hand grabs the right ankle to pull you down just a little bit more. I always like to have my left hand come to the outside edge of the mat, like for a little more stability. And I usually stay on the left fingertips. Inhale, take both the hands to the mat, lift the chest. We're coming into a Shiva squat variation, so bend the right knee. Left knee bends behind it. And then we're going to take the right hand, grab onto the outside edge of this left foot, come into a dragon squat. So lower the hips. Hold on to that foot if you can. Yes, amazing. Now we're going to make our way back up. So press through the right foot, lift the hips, release the foot, return to standing split. Whew. I know, a lot of work. It really cooks the inner thighs. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. So bend into the right knee. Left foot lands mindfully behind us. Windmill open the hands. I know that right leg is cooking. Check in. Make sure the shoulders aren't coming up to the ears. Pull them back and down. Exhale, reverse. Extend that front leg. Give that right leg a little break. Reach with the right hand. Inhale, pulls us back and up. Exhale, side angle, variation of your choice. Beautiful. Inhale, pulls us back and up. Exhale, windmill down the hands. Left knee, so your back heel spins up. Take the left knee down to the mat. Shift the hips back, half split. Beautiful. Active toes. So curl them back to you, and you'll notice you feel that deeper stretch. And then we're going to take the hands, and we're going to walk them outside, so this left hand is stepping over the leg, and crawl them out to the right side of the mat, yes. <laughs> crawl them out as much as you can. Woo! Maybe you feel a deep stretch here. I know I do. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, come back to center. Bend into the right knee, plant hands, curl back toes under, move through your vinyasa. So on that same exhale, can you hit the chaturanga? Inhale for elbow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful work. One breath here, in and out of the nose. Inhale, left leg sweeps back and up. Flip it over, wild thing. So maybe hips drop down. And then arch and lift. And again, maybe the hand comes behind the head. Press firmly into this right hand. Inhale, here. Exhale. We're making our way into that crescent lunge. So hug that left knee into the chest. Look to the top of the mat. Step it up. Inhale, hands sweep overhead. Look up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center, warrior three. Bend into the left knee. Right leg sweeps back behind. Maybe a sweep overhead here for three. For two. Woo. And one. Exhale, left hand comes down. Open up, balancing half moon. Really focusing on that rotation in the chest. So check into this left hand. You kind of want it directly under you. That way it's going to help you rotate more in the shoulders. Lift the left leg a little higher. I know you can. Yes, there it is, y'all. Exhale, right hand comes down. Square hips. Peel open the left hand. Revolve half moon. Keep that right leg. Is it the right leg? Yes, the right leg nice and high. Here for three. Breathe deeply for two, and one, standing split. Exhale, fold over that left 
way. You're doing amazing. Whew, we're almost there. One breath in, one breath out. Plant both the hands, lift the chest, she the squat. So bend into the left knee. Right knee comes behind the left knee. We take the left hand, grab the outside edge of that right foot, begin to lower the hips for that dragon squat. Yes. If you can, you can like always pluck up this right hand. We're gonna come back to our standing split. So press into that left leg. So the right leg sweeps back and up. Woo. Challenging one, I know. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Bend into the left knee, right foot lands behind. Windmill open the hands. Arrive in pose. You all look great. Beautiful. Bend a little more into that left knee for me. Yes. Exhale, reverse. Extend that left leg. Give it a little break. Enjoy this nice side body stretch. Keep the core held in. Inhale, pulls us back up. Exhale, side angle. Mm -hmm. Inhale, pulls us back and up. Exhale, windmill down hands, half split, so that right knee hops in, hips shift back. Curl the toes, pull them back towards you. And even here, noticing what it's like to find the cat. Actually, let's do that. Let's find some cat and cows here, just in the split. It just helps kind of bring more awareness into the body and like how just little movements can change the pose or deepen the sensation. So move through a couple cat cows as best you can. Obviously, you're not going to come into that deepest back bend. But again, it's just bringing awareness into that pelvic tilt here. And then we're going to take both hands, remember the right crosses over that left foot, and walk them out to the left side of the mat. Let the head hang heavy here. Press those hips back. Yeah, beautiful. Press the heel of that left foot into the mat. Even if it's just like a little, it's not something you see, but it's something you certainly feel. Inhale, we come back to center. Left foot plants. Right toes curl under. Step it back. Move through your vinyasa. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Option to drop the knees. Take a sip of water, or you can stay in the pose. Yes, we're all on the same page. <laughs> oh, it's a tough one today. All right. When you're ready, meet me in down dog. Inhale, look in between hands. Rise to tip toes. Bend the knees. We're all working. If you've been in my drills class, working on that hopping up, you can take those donkey kicks. Remember, press the mat away when you hop up. It's going to help stabilize you a little more. Beautiful work. Inhale, halfway lift. You got it, Lauren. Go, go for it again. Yes, nice. Exhale, forward fold. Shift weight into the toes. Hinge up, hips rise up. That one pose, look up, reach up. Exhale, hands apart, center. They sweep by the mat with katasana, chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, hands plant. Crow pose. Shift right into it. Press them out away, rise up. Hug those heels into the bum as much as you can. Push, push, push. Three, two, Lauren, hug the heels in. Yes, one, shoot it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, flip it over, wild thing. Maybe you flip right into your full wheel. So to come into the full wheel, you really just pivot on the heel of the left hand. Yes, you got it guys.
You want me to show you one more time? I'm going to show you how we flip. Okay. So right leg, I'm in three-legged dog. Flip over, and then look at the left hand. My fingers don't stay glued to the mat. I'm pivoting on the heel of the hand to flip the fingertips so they face the back of the mat. And then press through the shoulders. If you want to try it again, I'll, I'll watch you guys. And if you've already got it, you can always just stay in your real pose. Yes, Cindy, yes. Yes, you got it, amazing. I love it. <laughs> just planting the seeds for what's to come. Beautiful, okay. From, from our wheel, or from wild thing. We're gonna flip over, hug that right knee into the chest to step it up top of the mat, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Core hooks in. Check into that back leg too. Notice that that heel is sinking back. Pull it forward. Exhale, hands to heart center, warrior three. We're just building on the flow. Hands sweep out overhead. Actually, option to take hands behind you coming into airplane. So you can drop the chest and lift that left leg as high as you can. Three, two, one. Right hand comes down. Open up, balancing half moon. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand comes down, square hips. Peel open the right. Revolve half moon. Lift that left leg, keep it high. Ooh, I know it's so heavy. Inhale here. Exhale, both hands to the mat, standing split. Just for a moment. And then we lift the chest, hands come down to the top of the mat. Bend into the right knee, left knee comes behind. Right hand grabs outside edge of the foot into our dragon squat. Yes. Press through the right foot and lift the hips, standing split. Option to plant, actually let's have everyone do this. We're not necessarily going into handstand, but we're gonna to work towards it. You can hop back to create some space on your mat. And I want you to take both hands and press through them as much as you can. Think of scapular protraction, think of all those drills we do. And then all you're doing is shift Push, 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 rise to the right tiptoes. So it really turns on the abs and it really works that push in the shoulders. So shift, round, 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 round. Maybe the right foot lifts a little bit. So do that three to five times. Just pushing, keeping the arm straight, lifting through this left, left foot, left leg. Again, it's super small movement but it should be like very challenging and like very fatiguing. That's how you know you're doing it right. Keep arms locked out. Push, 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 push. Rise to those tip toes. Whew, and come down. Beautiful. Option here to plant hands. Maybe work on hopping up. If you're working on holding that straight line, you can hug the right knee into the chest.
not bent to be easy. The more rotation, nice Claudia, you have in the shoulders, the easier it becomes. Find your dristy and move slowly. Nice, Lauren. Try and go slower. Even if the foot just lifts off the floor like an inch, that's something, you know? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice work. Beautiful. We'll all meet back, warrior two, just for a moment. And then exhale, we wiggle down the hands. Half split. Shift hips back. And we're going to move through those cat and cows. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. You can stay on the fingertips as well. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Take the hands, walk them to the right side, outside edge of the mat. Crawl them out nice far in front of you. Two breaths here. Inhale, come back to center. Coming on to the fingertips. We're going to work on a little bit of abs, working on a little bit of compression. So, further out the hands. As you can see, mine are close to the ankle. The harder it's going to be. So maybe you want the hands closer back to you. And then all we're doing, just try your best, is lifting the right heel off the mat. One. Two, three, four, five. Woo! Super challenging, I know. Those hip flexors. Oh, since when did the legs become so heavy? So you can stay in your half split. Option, maybe you work on coming into your full split. Nice work. Wesley, keep the back toes curled under for me since you're so close. It just helps anyone to do this. Keeping the back toes curled under, even if it's just there for a couple breaths, just helps keep the hips square. Because like when you're in your split, um, now they're not going to be perfectly square, but you want them to be square as fast as you can. So think of your hip bones pointing to the corner, corners of your mat, right, instead of splaying open to be in split like this. So keeping those toes curled under really helps that. Nice work, y'all. So, we're all gonna meet back in our half split. So if you're in your full split, press into the hands, and then inch that left knee back in. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna curl the left toes under, Press into the hands, working on compression. Again, that lift, that scapular protraction. Lift the left knee, and then we're going to work on taking this right leg, keeping it straight, dragging it back and up to a three-legged dog. Bend the knee. Three big hip circles. One, two, three. Take it in the other direction. One, two, three. Beautiful, right leg comes down, downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, left leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, flip it over, wild thing, or maybe you spin into that full wheel. So again, that right hand, pivot on the heel of the hand to come around. You were so close. Nice, Claudia. Push through those shoulders. Imagine you have a, yes, beautiful. Nice work. All right, hold it here. And then we're coming back to the top of the mat. The left knee hugs into the chest to step it up, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center, warrior three. They sweep behind us. Airplane, so you can let the chest lower down. You're not collapsing in the chest. 
You keep spacing the collarbones, but lift up as much as you can through the right foot here for three, for two, one, balancing half of the left hand comes down and open up. Get that right leg nice and high. You should feel that outer pocket of the glute turning on. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes down, square the hips. Left hand peels open, revolve tap move. We're almost there, y'all. Finish strong. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand comes down. Standing splits, folding over that front left leg. Maybe left hand grabs the ankle. Inhale here. Exhale. Take the hands to the mat. Bend into that left knee. Right knee comes behind. Left hand grabs outside edge of that foot for that dragon squat. Yeah, beautiful, you all. You all look so good. Now press leg out into that left foot. Lift the hips. Use the right hand. Left leg sweeps. Sorry, right leg sweeps back and up. Plant the hands. You can hop the left foot back. And again, working on that scapular contraction. So pressing into the mat, reaching through this right foot. All I want you to do is shift forward, push, 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 lift, 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 and roll to the tiptoes. One. Shift forward, push, 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 lift, 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 lift. Two. Shift forward, push, 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 push. Lift, 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 lift. Three. Two more. I know it's super challenging. Push, push, push. Lift, lift, lift. Four. <sighs> Last one. Push. Keep the arms locked up. Lift. Five. Beautiful. You can stay here. Or maybe work on hopping Woo. into your handstand. Nice work, you guys. Awesome. Lauren, when you're working on hopping up, don't be afraid to take your time, right? Find your dressy, that point to focus the gaze on. And remember, keeping that push in the arms, I think is going to help you a lot. And then just take a little hop. And I want you to focus on pushing them out away.
Inhale, come back to center. So coming up onto the fingertips. Again, we're gonna lift this leg. So really focusing on hugging that belly button in. And it's a lot of low belly abs and hip flexor work as well. So push around and you still even find that lift in the shoulders so it's still even a little bit of scapular contraction. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, lift it up. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work. If you're like, oh, damn, it didn't leave the mat. Don't worry about it. It just happens over time. It's just one of those things. So again, you can stay in your half split or maybe you work on coming into your full split. And again, notice if one side feels different than the other. If you're close or if you're all the way down, keeping the back toes curled under, keep hips nice and square, two breaths here. Beautiful. We're all making our way back to half split. So press through the hands, lift the hips, scapular protraction, push them around, slide that right knee back to the mat. You can come up onto fingertips or keep the palms flat. Curl the right toes under. Again, working on compression, and we're working on taking this left leg straight back and up into that three-legged dog. So push, lift the right knee off the mat. And then push, 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 push. And maybe that left leg sweeps back and up through like a dog. Nice. Bend the knee. Three big hip circles. One, two, three. Other direction. One, two, three. Exhale. Left foot comes down. Inhale, roll it forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look in between hands. We're going to make our way to the top of the mat, coming into our yogi squats. We have options. You can step up or you can work on hopping up and coming into like a little handstand straddle moment or working towards that, okay? So look towards the top of the mat, rise to tiptoes, bend the knees, hop it up. Nice, beautiful, hit our yogi squat. Inhale, find that lift and lengthen. Exhale, lowering bum all the way to the mat. We're gonna do one round of wheel, and then we're gonna take our twists and begin to finish off the practice. So taking hands right by our ears. Inhale, curl the tailbone up. So just focus on curling that pelvis, and then roll up the spine, one word right out of time, until you get to the shoulders to push and lift. Lauren, push through those shoulders. Imagine you're pushing towards, towards like a wall in front of you. Yes. Nice. If you're up, hold it up for three, for two, and one. Slowly lower down. Coming into a happy baby, grabbing the outsteps of the feet, tailbone plugs to the mat. Shoulder. 
Maybe close the eyes if you haven't done so already. Or you have a soft gaze. If you ever feel any like wonkiness in the back after back bends, always come into a twist. It really helps reset the spine. Inhale slowly. You can unravel the legs, come back up to center, and then left comes over the right. Exhale, drop them off to the right side. Look over that left shoulder. Long, slow, deep breaths. Inhale, unravel the legs, slowly come back to the center. Take both the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze, maybe lift forehead to knees. And then exhale, releasing it down, releasing the legs. Maybe tuck the shoulders underneath you. And taking a moment of gratitude here. Whatever it is, the first thing that pops up into your mind. And then sending love out to someone you know, whoever you know that is suffering. Take a big inhale through the nose, fill up the lungs. Exhale, open mouth. 